All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode series. Today, with a live commentary episode, we haven't done that in a while, actually. But we have a very, very big game against Arsenal here. And if we look at a calendar, it's only two games left here in December, as we have a week off here. Actually, not the game against Hollis on Sunday, not on Saturday. But as you can see, the January transfer window begins, and there's actually five days until the Chelsea game. So we could attempt to make our first signings in this episode. Right now we have a pretty nice budget in 12.3 million and 78,000 on the wage budget, actually almost 79,000. So we could make a signing here. Obviously most of that money came from uh, progressing in the Champions League which gave us 10 million. And yeah, if we look at the table you can see why this game against Arsenal is huge. If we win it, we will take at least fifth place and if we lose this game and Liverpool win their game then we lose some ground towards the Champions League places because then it would be Arsenal in fourth place and that would be a five point lead on us so we definitely need to win this game to stay in contact with those places but yeah let's see what we can do at the Emirates all right, here we are. To be honest, guys, I'm not very confident, I must say. I had to make loads of changes after that Sunderland game. And you're going to see my first 11 in a minute. It's actually not that strong. But we could steal three points here at the Emirates or maybe get a draw. That would be a nice result too. As Jenkinson faces his former teammates. All right, let's take a look at Arsenal's side. Who's the goalkeeper? Grunebaum. I don't really know him. It's Cavani up front, Oxlade Chamberlain on the right. They still got Flamini, which is a bit surprising. Mertesak and Koscielny at centre back. Pretty good side, I must say, but I think we could actually beat them, even though we have a weak side. I must say, it's Riederwald and Beavis and Ekpeguma actually at CDM. Isaac Beely on the left and Chifchi at striker. Zalalem's not playing because he's not fit. Oh, this could be pretty tough. It's Anderson here. Gerhard. Pass it to Anderson. Come on, we've got a first chance here. Anderson, finish it, yes! It's 1 0 already. Not even 6 minutes in. Arsenal have not had the ball yet. Wow, what a start to this game it is. Very lucky that Anderson got the ball back after his shot was blocked. And a pretty nice shot with his left foot. Hits the post going in. No chance for Grunebaum. Chief G. Can we get another good chance here? Come on, you can get past Mertesaka with your pace. Not a big chance. Oh, that's a 2 nil. Oh my god, what is going on? What the fuck is going on? 10 minutes in and it's 2 nil to us. With our first two chances. And again, a very, very lucky goal, I must say. Wow, what a nice effort by Chief G. 2 nil. Oh my god. Ah. That was terrible by me. Shit, Cavani's got it. And it's 2 1. Arsenal getting back into this game. I was nervous about playing Beavers, but Dyer just wasn't fit. And. Ah. A nice finish by him, I must say. Nardi, no chance there. Oh my god, what a first 20 minutes that is. Absolutely insane start to the game. Come on, yes, Beely, come on. Come on, can we get a counter here? Can we get a 3-1 just before half time? Look at that, he feels a lot faster than his ratings indicate, I must say. Come on, whip that in, Danny Gerhard. Oh, just wide. Probably could have taken a touch there. But yeah, Isaac Beely, he's like. 68 acceleration and 62 sprint speed or something around that. Feels a lot faster and you've seen that right there. Alright, and that's half time. What a game this has been so far. A great start by us. Arsenal have been playing terrible the first 10 minutes, but after the 2-0, they got a lot better, got more possession. And also got the goal in the 23rd minute, yes. Oh, Mertesacker, big mistake. Big mistake from the BFG. Oh, what a nice volley by Chief Chief. Uh, good save from Greenbaum. 
Ah, oh, Roberts. That was nice. Come on. There's Chief G. We've got it. Make that, please. And it's 3 to 1. Chief G with his second goal of the day. And that should pretty much do it. What a nice ball that was by Patrick Roberts. And yeah, that's a third goal of the game. What a great game this has been. Considering how bad the last couple of games were, especially last episode, where I had to make a shorter episode because there was just nothing to show you. But this game, both teams came out firing. And shift you with a nice finish there. I'm actually going to take him off now. I made the substitution like 10 minutes ago, but the ball just didn't go over touchline or uh, no foul or anything. And there he is on the bench. Yeah. And also Castelletto is going to come off for Arlen Ajeti. But I think I'm going to make one more switch. Since it is 3-1, I think I might going to give uh, McNulty a go for Jenkinson because he wasn't fit anyways. But I wanted to play him against his former club. Ah, oh, Roberts. That was great. Come on. With that in, Davy Selke. 4-1. Davy Selke. What a nice header that was, and it's literally four to one. That is absolutely insane against Arsenal, not the worst side in the league. Wow, 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 wow! All right, can we get a fifth one? Get hard here. Come on! Oh, what a nice save for Grunebaum. All right, and that is it. Four to one against Arsenal, scoring two goals each half. What a great game this has been. Everybody's played well. And a very deserved full one win. Actually had 11 shots, I think. Absolutely insane. Haven't played that well in quite a long time, I must say. Just look at what that has done to the table. We're now in front of Arsenal. Liverpool have a game in hand, though. If they win it, they will take fourth place back. But still, we are getting closer to Manchester City and Stoke, who are still... Having a very strong season, even though they've lost. Alright, so Yannick Gerhardt is happy again. That is good. He's been cl complaining about his role at the club a little bit. But still. Alright, we get two more emails here. A youth player wants out. Craig Pack apparently wants out. Hmm. I suppose we could call him up now and. Um. And loan him out now. All right, it's so often one year future first team player should be enough to sign him up. All right, so now we're taking on Hull City, and actually in a couple of weeks we are going to take them on again in the FA Cup. It's quite funny. I think that's in two weeks. Anyways, we are in fourth place, one game in hand, so we could close the gap to Man City to only two points if we win here. That would be awesome. Alright, looking at our side, I've gone with the 4 1 2 1 2 again. With Zivkovic and Danny Ings as a striker pair. So Lalem at Cam. And obviously Roberts and Ipe on the wings. Weigel at CDM. And the back four as usual. And here we have Hull. Is so anybody, any standout naming? I don't think so. No, not really. <laughs> but still, it's always dangerous against those, I guess, lower class sides. They always seem to do very well against us, so we have to watch out. They are not sitting back. They actually want to win this game, looks like. Oh wow, what a nice through ball that is. Nardi, get to that. Nice. Clear that out. Oh wow, they still got it. They still have it. And they're getting through so easily. Weigel, come on, clear that. Wow. And we're not going to cross it in. We're going to cut in. There's a Lalem. We'll take the ball here, shoot it, oh, Jakubovic with the save there, nice shot by Zalalem, oh god, come on, no, how is he so open there, what the fuck is going on, I have my best back four possible, and they're just getting through like we were, I don't know, a league two side, oh yes, of course, oh yes, come on Danny, make a run, there he is, Danny Ings, and it's 1 0 to us. What a nice pass that was by Zivkovic. Won us the ball, pass it over to Danny Ings, and with a nice finish, he makes it 1 0. 
Oh, it was a pretty tough game thus far. How very dangerous, actually. Probably could have gone up 1 0 too. Oh. Just passing the ball around. Oh, they run into each other, but still they keep the ball. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh god, we got Chelsea next. Great. Fucking awesome. Alright, I just brought on a jetty for Castelletto, just hopefully bringing some more stability into that back four. I don't know what it is, but for some reason they're getting a lot of good chances. Not necessarily uh, good shots on target, but uh, good chances, good potential chances. Manchester City away from home. Oh my god! Slalom just got annihilated. And that's a yellow card. You know what? We're actually gonna make a change now. Slalom's gonna come off and we're gonna put in Dominic Anderson because he has very good free kicks. And I wanted to bring him on anyway, so pretty good timing here. Alright, come on. Come on, Dominic. Eh, oh. I thought it was in. I genuinely thought it was in and was about to celebrate. Oh, wow. Oh, I just barely. Barely missed that one. Oh, my God. Are you serious? That is a free kick. Fuck's sake. Watch them score off that one. Watch them score off of that. Alright, they didn't score off of that, but we cleared it. And they got it back. So now they're probably gonna score. Come on, clear that, please! No! Told you so. Told you so. I didn't even, I didn't even skip there. But I told you so. Fuck's sake, come on, a stupid header. Oh god, what the fuck are you doing? Seriously? What the hell was that? Come on. Ah, oh, three guys can't take the ball off of him. Three guys. Ah, oh, and that's it. A stupid one all draw against Hull. Ah, oh, Hull, why are they so tough to face? I don't understand it. Ah, oh, it's just two points dropped there. God say. All right, and I'm actually gonna end the video here because I wanted to show you some transfer stuff until the next game against Chelsea. However, I was just editing and I realized that it's another 12 minutes worth of content. So that's gonna be an extra episode, probably tomorrow. And after that, you will have the next episode with the games against Chelsea and Tottenham, some very big games there. But I do recommend that you tune in for the next episode, even though it has no actual gameplay in it. But I promise you, there will be a big, big signing. And also, I'm gonna show you my transfer targets, and you could give your opinion on that, and maybe you can suggest me some players I should go for. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more Miracle Remote, and support the series. Till the next time, see you guys then, goodbye.